Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into today's video. So I am very excited about this video because we're finally going to go ahead and get into Halloween nails. Now in my last nail video, I did say that I was going to be doing one more fall set. But after my last video, I kind of realized that I only have like a week and a half. So we're going to skip the last fall set and we're going to jump straight into Halloween. And for today, we're going to be doing some centipede nails. And I'm very, very, very excited about that because I don't know, I've been looking at the set for a long time and I'm just like, yes, I'm going to do it. But before we get into it, I just want to say thank you to anyone who watched my last video and just shared some love and maybe possibly even shared it with your family and friends. That was probably one of the most important videos that I will ever make in my entire YouTube career because like it's just super important and I feel like people in my community are just not really talking about it and it's really disappointing but you know it is what it is I guess. But similarly to my last video I will be posting all of my donation links in the description of this video as well because I feel like you know I do want to make sure that I am being as proactive as possible and leaving sources and stuff for you guys to use throughout the course of this entire situation i'm going to keep sharing those links in every video after this um simply because i do want to make sure that those links are available for you guys to use so yeah i really do appreciate that but without further ado let's go ahead and get into it so as you can see this is what my nails are looking like so this is a nail set that i did for myself like maybe a week ago and a lot of you guys have been asking how i take my nails off using the peel off base coat and i promise you it is so simple so because we have that peel off base coat on it's super easy to just go ahead and pop these off and normally after a few days you will get areas of the nail that start to lift up which is going to help you be able to take these off a lot easier so normally what i like to do is i just take this end of the like cuticle pusher tool and i just like to stick it underneath the nail and pop it off and there you go, the nail is 100% off and there is no damage on my nails, just a little bit crusty. And then I just go ahead and store these for if I wanna wear these like again in the future. But yeah, that is how I take off my nails. All right, so here is what my nails are looking like. They look actually like really disgusting as you can see i do still have a little bit of that matte top coat on top of my nails but that can be removed very easily i kind of just like to peel it off like this and i know it looks so gross but this is how i get rid of it All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and start grooming my nails. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just go ahead and push back my cuticles. And now I'm gonna go in with this cuticle bit here to go ahead and clean up around my cuticles and further lift up any of that excess dead skin. And for reference, I do use this at about three or 4,000 RPMs because I do want to make sure that I'm not like filing into my nails and using it at a low speed just prevents that. And while you are doing this, you wanna make sure that the drill bit is parallel to your nail. You don't want it to be sticking up like this because you're gonna end up filing into that like what do you call it like the matrix i think that's what it's called but you really don't want to have it tilted upwards because this can affect how your nail actually grows out in the future even if it's healthy or not so you really want to make sure to be super careful around this area All right, and now I'm gonna go ahead and clip my cuticles using my cuticle nippers.
And now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut down my nails. And now I'm just going to go over the surface using my mini buffer. I really just do this to make sure that I have all of the like product removed from my last um, peel off base coat. But I am still making sure to be very gentle during this step because the goal really isn't to file into my nails. I'm just making sure that they're nice and smooth for the application that I'm doing today. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of all of the excess dust. So my matte peel off base coat is fully applied and I also went ahead and sized out all of my nail tips for today. And to cure on these nail tips, I'm gonna be using a little bit of base coat. All right, and I'm gonna go over these with a layer of base coat. And for anyone who wonders why I do this, this is just so that I can build up a little bit of strength because the matte peel off base coat comes off super easily. And once I start filing these, they just like pop off. So I like to do this to provide me with an extra little bit of strength before I go ahead and start filing these up. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting these down. I feel like it's been quite a while since I've done long nails, so I kinda wanna like get back to my old self. I don't know. So I'm thinking maybe I'll go to about here. I think this is a pretty decent length. And now I'm just going to shape them up a little bit before we get into the application. Okay, so all of the prep work is done and we are finally ready to move on to the application. All right, so we are on to the application portion of the video. And as you can see, I'm using a slightly like grayish purple color. And to achieve that color, I actually mixed a little bit of black and purple into my monomer. And for my acrylic, I'm just using some Mia Secret clear acrylic. And one thing that I will mention is that if you want it to be a little bit more transparent, I definitely do recommend using a little bit less gel polish. While I was mixing in the black and purple gel polish, I accidentally added too much black and had to like overcompensate with purple. And that's how it became so opaque and to be honest when I was doing it I was like oh crap this isn't really what I want but in the end it worked out a lot better than I expected simply because my pinky is you know still discolored and you know we're trying to treat her or whatever so I did want to go ahead and like cover it up as best as I could so I wasn't really too upset with this color being opaque in the end even though that wasn't my intention, but you get what I'm saying. So it's been a while since I like talked to you guys during this portion of the video. And you know, I kind of want to like talk to you guys about Halloween and spooky season and you know, everything like that. So what are you guys planning on being for Halloween this year? If you guys still even, you know, dress up or anything. Me personally, I don't dress up, but I was really like thinking about dressing up this year and I've been planning on being this one person for Halloween for probably about two years. I've been trying to be Brent Fayez, but I have locks now and when I wanted to be Brent Fayez, I had an afro. So I don't really know what I want to be this year anymore. Um, and I'm probably not going to buy an afro just to be him because I don't really feel like doing that so I don't know anymore. Um, but yeah, if you are dressing up this year or you're going trick or treating, definitely do let me know one, if you're actually gonna go trick-or-treating this year, and two, if you're gonna dress up or not. I'm probably gonna end up going trick-or-treating with my little brother and sister. That's kind of what we do every year, and you know, it's always a good time, but I typically don't dress up, so I gotta kind of figure that out and 
by the time you guys will be seeing this video it'll probably be the 23rd or the 24th so i have about maybe five days to figure it out before it's a little bit too late and if i do anything it'll probably be something super basic like i might just wear a mask or something because i'm old now i don't know i feel like i don't really want to dress up in like the full get up anymore because I don't know i don't have time for that but i don't know i'll see so just to stay on topic with halloween nails i am super excited about the nail sets that i'm going to be doing for you guys so this one definitely got us off to a good start and i'm not sure if any of my next sets are going to be able to top this like this nail set right here is definitely probably my favorite nail set that i've ever done um for halloween and i've been doing nails for probably about three years now like almost three years in december and out of all of the three years this is my favorite set that i've ever done and i don't know if i'm going to be able to top it but we're going to be able to maybe squeeze in about three or four more sets and if it goes over into november that's fine like i feel like these nail sets i would wear any time of the year because that's just the type of person that i am but I will try and get probably about three or four more after this video. So definitely do stay tuned for those. But enough of me rambling. Um, I will just be quiet and let you guys watch the rest of this application and we'll be back to shape and file these nails. So here's what my application is looking like and this color is so so cool i thought it would be a little bit more clear but i'm honestly glad that it wasn't because my pinky like i did not want to be able to see the discoloration underneath it so yeah so now we are ready to go ahead and start shaping these up and as always i'm going to start off by shaping the undersides and side walls of my nails using my 88 grit nail file now there was someone who asked me a while ago if i could show me shaping my nail in real time for at least one of my nails so i'm going to be doing that now as you can see my shape is pretty much still there so i really don't have much work to do so the first thing that i always do is just push back the skin on the sides just to prevent myself from like cutting myself or anything like that. And then I just like to make sure that I'm holding my nail file parallel to the surface of the nail. And I just go ahead and file the sides nice and smooth. And I do like to stop and make sure that I'm not over filing because I don't want to make these like coffin or tapered square. I want to go ahead and like actually maintain the shape that I already have. And it also prevents like pain and burning when you're filing. So I definitely do recommend stopping and just like making sure. And I'm just going to do the exact same thing on the other side. And if you're wondering why I filed this way, I do like to make sure to look at my nails from different angles. So I make sure to look at it from this angle as well as this angle, just to make sure that the shape is actually correct. And filing this way is just a little bit easier than filing like this, especially since I'm kind of blocking my light. So I just like to file like this. However, it does really depend. So definitely play around with filing techniques and, you know, see what you like best. And after I do the sidewalls, I just go underneath the nail. And as you can see, I really don't have much to do. Like it's already pretty straight. I just like to make sure that there's no acrylic like sticking out underneath. <laughs> and 
and that took me probably about five seconds and as you can see it's just a little bit straighter now during this step you don't want to over file because you don't want to create a ledge and you also don't want to start filing into the corners of your nails because that can lead to nail damage all right so the sidewalls and the undersides of this nail is shaped and this is what it is looking like and now i'm just going to go ahead and do the exact same thing to the rest of my nails Okay, so the sides are all nice and shaped up and the next thing I'm going to do is start sealing my cuticles and to seal my cuticles, I'm going to be using this carpet bit here. And now I'm gonna go over the surface of my nails using the same nail file. And I just like to make sure that everything is nice and flush with the apex area and just kind of straighten out any lumps that there may be.
And now I'm just gonna go ahead and shape up the free edge. And I'm gonna go back in with this carpet bit to file underneath my nail and make it just a little bit more thin. And lastly, I'm just going to buff my nails using my mini buffer. Okay, so the nails are nice and shaped up and before we get into the nail art i'm just going to very quickly wash my hands and i'll come right back all right my hands are nice and washed and we are ready to get into these centipedes y'all i'm excited but before we do that let me go ahead and show you what we're going to need for today's nail set all right so this is everything that we're going to need for today's nail set but first we just have some black gel polish and i'm also going to be using some matte top coat and some regular top coat i'm going to be using this metallic painting gel and some red chrome powder all right so that is everything let's go ahead and get into it now before we start i'm just going to wipe off my nails with some isopropyl alcohol to get rid of you know any extra dust or anything like that so the first thing i'm going to do is take my black gel polish and put this onto my mixing plate and actually before we do anything i'm actually going to go over this with a layer of some matte top coat because this nail set is basically going to be entirely matte except for the nail art that i'm going to put on top of this and of course the matte top coat is optional but for today i'm going to be going matte and if you guys have been here for some time you guys know that i don't really do matte nails so this is definitely more of like new territory for me i don't really experiment with matte nails too much but i definitely want to get into it a little bit more And I'm just gonna go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds. All right, the matte top coat is fully applied and y'all, I just love this color so much. It is so like different and unique, I love it. But anyway, before we get into the centipedes, I'm going to be drawing some veins on these nails and I'm a little nervous because I've never done this before, but we'll see what we can come up with. I'm first going to take this black gel polish and I'm going to paint the veins on using this color and then afterwards, like after I cure it, I'm going to go over it with the red chrome powder. So I don't really know how to draw veins um so we're just gonna like 
free ball it and see what we can come up with. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing to the rest of my nails. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for 30 seconds. Okay, already on its own, this looks cool already. Like if you don't like centipedes and this isn't really your type of nail set, you can literally just rock with these. Like this is already nice on its own, but I'm not doing that. Okay, so next I'm gonna go ahead in with my red chrome powder. And you guys already know how I am with this. I just like to use whatever is on the top first because I feel like using less just looks a little bit better in my opinion. So I'm just going to rub this in really good into these veins. Okay, so now we're ready to start making these centipedes and I don't exactly know how to do it, but we're gonna figure it out. All right, so I'm thinking I'm first going to make a swirl down the middle of the nail. And then I think I'm gonna go in with a dotting tool to like kind of make the little body segments of the centipede. I don't know what they're called. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do that. So like I said, I'm gonna start out by creating a swirl. And also I'm going to be overlapping some of these veins. Okay, I think, I think that's good. I think that's good. And now I'm going to take my dotting tool to kind of create the body segments. And I think for now, I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. Okay, and now I'm gonna make the legs of the centipede. And this part is probably gonna be super easy. So I'm just going to create little dashes for legs. So kind of like that. So for anyone who may be wondering, I do not like bugs at all. Um, so this is definitely an experience, I will say that. But honestly, like this is definitely very much appropriate for spooky season. Like this is my type of Halloween nails. Like I know everyone is so into the scream nails and listen, I'm gonna be the one to say it, it's played out. Like we need to think of something else. Like it's just getting old and I'm sick of seeing it. So if you are looking forward to seeing any type of nail set with like scream involved, I'm not the girl for that, okay? That is not, no. Okay, I think this looks really good. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this again for 30 seconds. All right, so now we're going to tap into this metallic painting gel. And y'all, this stuff is so messy. Like, look at the look at the jars in. It's like all over the jar. So basically what I'm gonna do with this metallic painting gel is I'm going to go around little sections of the body to help further accentuate it. Okay, so I'm actually gonna be using this liner brush because it's super short and good for these little small sections. All right, so I'm just gonna dip into this metallic painting gel. And then I'm just going to go around some of these sections like this, I think. Yeah, I think this will help a little bit. I don't know if that really does anything. You know what, I'm just gonna stick with it, we'll see.
Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. I'm not gonna do it over because I don't wanna wipe it off and get rid of the red crumb powder. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cure this. All right, and I think I wanna kind of make this centipede a little bit more 3D. So I'm gonna go back in with my gel polish to kind of like build up some of the circular body bits. Ew, that sounds gross. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with this black gel polish to build up a little bit more some of these sections. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and cure this layer as well. All right, and finally, we're gonna go in with this top coat, and I'm only gonna go over the veins and the centipede because I want the base of my nails to remain matte. Okay, and this is what it's looking like. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. So this nail is done, okay? Look at this nail, okay? So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing to the rest of my nails and I will come back.
So the nail art is completely done and this is what it is looking like and I love this so, 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 so much. I will say that the centipedes are thicker than what I envisioned, but you know, we are body positive over here, so I don't discriminate. But anyway, to finish this off, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of cuticle oil. And that completes today's set. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this one. This nail set, as I said a little bit earlier in the voiceover, this nail set is definitely a good starter to my Halloween nails. And I'm so, so excited to make more Halloween sets and post them and just get your guys' feedback. This is definitely a very, very, very inspiring season for Halloween. And even though I did say that I'm kind of like sick of seeing, you know, the scream nails and like the typical Halloween nails that we do every year, this season and like 2023 Halloween season has just been super inspiring and so innovative. And I'm so excited to actually like get into it and be inspired because it's been a while since I've been inspired by Halloween nails. But of course, I would love to hear what you guys think of this nail set down in the comments and also do let me know if you guys would actually wear these nails but as always i want to say thank you guys so so much for tuning in today and i will see you guys in the next one Bye.